Hi, welcome. For today's express class, we're going to be working on mobility using the TheraVan, focusing a little extra on thoracic mobility, which is that mid-upper back part of your spine. We're going to start lying down. And I want you to take the TheraVan and wrap it around your thighs. Make sure it stays nice and flat. The tighter it goes, the more work it's going to be for your glutes for these uh, first few variations. When you tie it, suggestion here, don't do a knot. Do a bow. If you do a knot, you're going to spend a lot more time trying to undo it. But once you have that set, you can lie all the way down. Keep your knees bent, feet flat on the mat, about six bones apart. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Take a moment here to find where your body is in space. What's your pelvis up to? What are your arms doing? Feel free to have your hands resting by your hips on the mat. If you want to start feeling where your breath is going in space, you can always have your hands wrapped around your ribcage with your thumbs in the back, fingers in the front. Taking a really deep inhale, letting your lungs fill up with air as much as possible. Your ribcage expands in all directions, and then as you exhale, all the air escapes. Feel how your waist naturally starts to wrap in, knitting those front ribs together. Keep your front ribs knitted. Start to send your breath towards the sides and back of your ribs. And exhale, wrapping that waist even further in with more intention. Keep your spine in neutral so you have a little bit of space between your low back and the mat. Three more breaths with each inhale going further to the back of your ribs, keeping those front ribs knitted together. And exhale, wrapping that waist further in like you're being tied into a corset. Last breath here. Beautiful. Have your arms along the sides around the mat. Make sure your toes are pointing straight forward. Heels are in line with your sits bones. So there's about a fist of distance between your feet. Taking a nice inhale. And then as you exhale, you're drawing your belly button in towards your spine. Curling your pubic bone up and in towards your face. And Pressing your low back down on the mat. Inhale and rock back into neutral. We're going to do three more here like this before moving on to our bridges. Exhale, pelvis tucks. Trying to use those low abs and pelvic floor muscles for this movement instead of using your butt. So feel free to have your hands here on your glutes. If they start to tighten up, you know that they're working. Try to keep them relaxed. One more here. Excellent. And we're still going into our bridges. So as you exhale, pelvis tucks. Lifting your tailbone up. Then each vertebrae comes up one at a time. Inhale at the top. And exhale to melt all the way back down. Beautiful, going nice and slow at your own pace. Trying to make each movement deliberate and intentional. When you're at the top of your bridge, feel your knees reaching long over your toes, helping you keep your hips open, keeping that pelvis tucked since the back of your legs and glutes working here. And I want you to already lightly press out into that TheraVan so you also feel the side of your hips, especially that glute made muscle, which is the side butt muscle, starting to turn on. We're going to do five more here. And three. 
of two. And on this next one, you're gonna hold that bridge at the top. This highest feels good for you, but I want the focus to be on the tuck of your pelvis rather than how high that bridge is. So keep your glutes engaged here. Hold that tuck. You're gonna pulse out into that they are band. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then that's all the way back down. Beautiful, we're gonna go for a wide V bridge here. So I want you to open your feet out so they're a little wider than your hips. You have your heels pointing in, toes pointing out. Beautiful. And then from here, you're going to exhale, tuck that pelvis, peeling right back up into your bridge. You should start to feel that glute meat muscle working a little harder here already. And then melting back down. Beautiful. We're going to do eight more here. Again, trying to go nice and slow as you articulate up. You want to get that movement of your spine to imitate a wave. Four, five. Still keeping those knees reaching long over your toes as you come up into your bridge. So we still have the back of your legs supporting you here. Three. And on this next one, you're gonna hold that bridge at the top. We're going to do those same pulses here, out an inch, out an inch, pressing out that the band for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it. Can you tuck that pulse a little bit more? Tiny pulses up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze and then melt all the way back down. Beautiful. You can bring your feet together. Take that bare band out from around your thighs. And we're going to come all the way up so that you're on all fours. So you have a bare band by your hands. Hands are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're going to start with the cat cow first. So once you have your hands and knees in place, Take a deep inhale, you're letting your tailbone flare back, spine arches down, you're lifting your chest away from the floor and opening your collarbones out to the sides. And exhale, tucking that pelvis, your tailbone curls down towards the floor, spine arches up towards the ceiling, and your gaze turns in towards your navel. We're going to do five like this, moving at your own pace. in our spine as possible. That's going to help prevent injuries from happening. It's also going to help make sure you don't feel any kind of like pain in your low back. Last two. Last one, you can 
come right back into your neutral. So feel like the crown of your head and tailbone are reaching long away from each other, creating a long line in your spine. You're going to grab a bear band and with your left hand first. The closer you are to the center of the theraband, the more tension it's going to be and the harder it's going to be for this movement. So play around with that. Find a spot that feels good for you. All you're going to do is bend your elbow up towards the ceiling and twisting your chest open to the left and back down. We're going to do nine more like this on the side. Try to keep your pelvis nice and steady. Keep those low abs engaged. You're letting that elbow bend and chest twist. So we're finding a rotation in your thoracic spine. Find a spot that works best for you. You take a nice deep inhale 
And then as you exhale, you're gonna open your arms out to the side and then slowly control them forward. Out to the side and control them forward. So you wanna make sure that when your arms are coming back in, you're not letting the TheraBand snap them forward, you're still using all these tiny muscles that live in your back, between your shoulder blades and your spine to control that movement forward. Four or five. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Don't let them hike up. Your traps will want to help you out here. Kind of want to tell them, you know, chill out. Last three. Final one. Beautiful. On this next one, we're going to open up our hands so they're, they're in a wide V. You have some tension on the TheraBand, but you're not super open. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears as you lift your arms up and lower back down. Arms up and lower. Four or five. Your shoulders should be on fire from this. Four, make sure that when your arms lift, you're not letting your spine arch and your rib cage flare open. Think about the breathing work that we did earlier. You're keeping those front ribs in it together so that when your arms lift, the work comes from your shoulder, not your low back. Last two. And after that last one, you can relax. Roll the shoulders back, nice deep breath. We're gonna combine those two movements and we're gonna start adding a high knee on. So for this, you're gonna have your arms long and forward. You're going to open that TheraBand out into that wide V. Squeeze your glutes to come into your high knee on, and then reach your arms up. Lower them down. Close as you sit back onto your heels. We're gonna do this 10 times. So open, squeeze, lift, lower, narrow, and sit. Again, keeping those front ribs in it together so your core is engaged. We're getting the work to come from your glutes, from your shoulders, not your low back. Excellent here. Four, six, making sure you're squeezing your glutes here at the top. Last four here. nice and wide. You've got your spine in a neutral position. You're going to place your right foot so it's pressing against that TheraBand, holding on to the ends here with your hands. The closer you hold on to your foot, again, the more tension. You're going to lower that leg so it's in a 45 degree angle. Nice deep breath. Keep your arms straight but relax. You're going to bend that knee in and then reach it out long. Knee bends in, and back out. I want you to think about leading the straightening of your leg with your heel, so we're engaging more of the back of your leg and your glutes. We don't have a super high tension there, band, so I want you to really think about connecting your brain to that muscle so you feel a little extra work there. 
And again, when your knee bends back in, you're going nice and slow so that those same muscles are controlling the bend in instead of the fair bend snapping your leg in towards you. Last four. that leg straight. You're going to lift it up towards the ceiling as far as feels good for you. Try to keep it straight. If you need to take a B bend of that knee, feel free to do so. Reach your left leg out long and you're going to just lift that left leg and lower. Left leg lifts and lowers. Nice and steady here. You're finding a bit of length in the back of your legs as they come up towards the ceiling. Ab engagement as that left leg lowers with control. Maintaining your pelvis in neutral here. Four or five. Three. And after this last one, you can rest that left leg long. Straighten the right leg. We're going to start drawing little circles here with that right leg. So here again, you might want to adjust the tension on the TheraBand. Maybe go a little looser. Drawing tiny circles here with control. Maybe making it a little bit bigger. You're trying to make sure that your pelvis stays steady as you move your leg. So we're finding some mobility inside of your hip socket. Instead of letting your low back and hips move around here. One more in this direction, then we switch the direction of that circle. And after that last one, you can pull that leg a little higher up towards the ceiling. Feel that heel reaching a little longer. Beautiful. Still trying to maintain that neutral spine. So we're finding length in your hamstrings instead of pulling on your low back. And then carefully bend that knee in. We're going to switch sides. So now your left foot is the one inside the TheraBand. You start with your right knee bent, left right foot flat on the mat. You're lowering that left leg down so it's in a 45 degree angle. And we're starting with that knee bend and stretch. Bend your left knee in. And then press that leg out long, reaching with your heel. Towards your spine as your right leg lifts. 
four or five?
Last two. And final one. Beautiful. We're going to switch sides. So placing that there again once more. And left foot steps on the there again. This time, left hand holding on to the end, finding tension that works best. You're going to straighten that right leg, starting in that lunge. And then from here, make sure your hips are squared off. Bending your right knee. Row and twist the left. Center. And then back into your lunge. Eight more. Last four. that left arm up and back down. Five more. Four, three. Final one. off the side. We have one last exercise here before we stretch. Start with your hands on the mat underneath your shoulders. Right leg back, left leg back. You're in a nice long line here of your plank. You're going to pike your butt up and then tuck your pelvis rolling through your spine so you're articulating right back up into your plank. feels better for you. All you're going to do is gently nod your head yes. And then softly shake your head now. If 
you can soften your knees. Bring your hands behind your thighs, holding on to your elbows. And I want you to arch your spine up towards the ceiling like that angry cat in cat cow. Getting a nice stretch in between your shoulder blades. Relax as you find a neutral. And then exhale, arching once more. Let your arms dangle. Press into your heels and slowly start to peel back up. One bone at a time. Letting your head be the last thing to come up. Rolling the shoulders back. Shake everything off. And we are done. So this was our kind of express class, working a bit on mobility, using the TheraBand. I hope you guys enjoyed and you have a nice day.